Hi guys, I thought I'd have another bash at Lost PLA casting this week. For a while I've been wanting to try to make a Celtic knot, but in honesty, carving something like that from wax or foam is a tricky task for me. But now I have a 3D printer, I'm able to explore new possibilities. And learning to use Fusion 360 has allowed me to design and make things I couldn't otherwise do. You either love or hate the texture of a 3D print, but either way you have to look hard to see it, as it's really quite fine. I've been experiencing porosity issues lately, though I'm developing another theory on that which I'll discuss at a later date. But for this build, I wanted to design a sprue system that would allow for a nice smooth feed and incorporate a vent or two. It looks a little strange, but it fits together tightly without glue and it has rounded smooth edges throughout. Unfortunately, my design wasn't perfect. With the flask in place, it became clear that the outer patterns were too close to the sides. So I trimmed these away with a hot knife and filled any cavities with sprue wax. I smoothed out any coarse printing pattern with a smear of positioning wax. That's the reddish brown stuff you can see. One of its true purposes is to attach wax patterns, so I couldn't resist positioning one as a test. The metal flask was fitted and the investment plaster was mixed and poured in. This was cooked according to the manufacturer's guidelines to melt away the PLA and prepare the plaster. Once ready, it was time to fire up the foundry. Watch this pour now. You can really see the effects of my homemade vacuum system pulling on the molten metal. An hour later, I plunged the plaster into a bucket of cold water, but it had cooled off too much and there was no satisfying hiss. Mm. 
after scraping away the soggy plaster with my fingers. Some failures became obvious. With a little cleanup, it's fabulous to see the texture of the 3D print captured so well in the casting. But four of these five are actually fails. These two are obvious, and it's because they were being fed by another pattern. These are themselves very thin, strangling the flow of the metal. So basically, I was trying to push a thin stream of metal too far. This one was too near the top, and it lacked enough head pressure to fill its uppermost corner. And this one, well, it's hard to see here, but it's not quite perfect. So, after the most basic of cleanups, the finished result is very pleasing. I've smoothed the top face with a little sanding, and it may need a little more sanding if I'm honest, but it matches the original 3D print very well. You can see a small hole has been cast into the work with great success. The back remains completely untouched and shows the evidence of the 3D printer nozzle which is extremely fine detail and proof of what this process can really achieve. And importantly, there's been some significant positioning lessons learned here. Hopefully, this will help me improve future castings. Whee! So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and please look out for my other videos. And do feel free to drop me a comment or two below, it's always great to hear from you guys. So that's it for now, take care, and thanks for watching.